Um, we are going to Alex Smith in Florida. We have a, this is like Florida central here. It's like we have no TCC members outside of Florida. Uh, nice. We'll, we'll make the channel. I love it. Kathy with amazing questions. I don't know if I can top it, but I'll try. Um, I love that story of you. And I also grew up in, uh, in Maryland. Joe, I, I grew up in Rockville, Maryland, so near you. I never knew that right, cool. about Potomac River. Where did you go to high school? Uh, Richard Montgomery in Montgomery County. What year did you graduate? 1999. So. Okay. Norm Bellingham, who was another Olympic gold medalist in the United States uh, in 1988, uh, he graduated from Richard Montgomery. I guess he was probably about 84, 85. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I used to spend a lot of time with the, the RM guys. Good to know. Good I to know. I Alex. knew about a, a, a canoeing program. I would have gotten into it, but um, uh, so I, I I'm curious, like um, uh, about how you what you've learned about defining success for yourself. Because as a as a spectator um, watching the Olympic Olympics, I only like know about like the the top three podium finishers or like the ones right right beneath the podium, and you 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 don't know that there's success from number one to the last. Per I mean, everyone who's Olympian, right, is is a huge success. They've beat out millions of people on what they do. But you know, the average spectator, you know, just doesn't uh, appreciate them as much. So I'm curious what you learned about defining success for yourself, because you know, when you won the gold medal, you still competed after that. I don't know you know, kind of, um, you know, where you finished after that. And I'm, I'm curious, like, how you define what you learned about defining success from the Olympics that you've taken into your um, post-Olympic life, into your business. It's, you You guys are killing it on the questions. It's like, you, you're <laughs> setting me up. It's like, they're so good. So this is really interesting. I think all of you, I, I, I kind of run with a lot of you guys on LinkedIn, and I know many of you are familiar with this expression. Um, Hey, sometimes I win, sometimes I learn, right? We, we, we've heard this, right? Sometimes I win, sometimes I'm, I learn. So if you think about those words, uh, they're kind of saying like, oh, like it's kind of making peace with your losses. Like, you know, I learn from my losses. So I was listening to a mental skills professional the other day who works with professional baseball players kind of call that one into question a little bit because it implies that we only learn from our losses, and that is to sort of say, like, what are we learning from our wins, which got me thinking and I started developing some ideas and I'm working on some content around this right now. But I wanted to share a few things, Alex, that I've been working on this about success and what my, I believe about success, because I think in a lot of ways, I think a lot of what what happens when you win, you just want to do it more because it feels good. And I get that. That's great. But I do wonder if sometimes we're doing a disservice by not slowing down by evaluating, resetting, checking in, making sure this is still what we want to do and why. I didn't have a very good answer for that after the 92 Olympics. I just knew the next Olympics were in the United States and that I should keep paddling. And there was a lot of kind of painful years ahead of me in deciding to do that. And I had an Olympic idol named Brad Lewis, a gold medalist in rowing, who asked me very point blank, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, yeah of course I'm sure. Like, you know, this is going to be great. And it was hard. And I did go back to an Olympic Games and I didn't win that. That was a good experience. I've made peace with that too. Here's my thought about what success has taught me, not what losing it taught me, but what winning has taught me. I believe, and I know everyone here has the ability to be successful. The world needs your kind of success, your unique kind of success. Yes, there are a lot of ways to check the box, to hit the number on the amount of sales you need to get or the kind of project you need to accomplish, but only one person can accomplish it your way. And we need more of that. I know someone else could have won the Olympics, but someone else would not have won the Olympics our way. And I think that was really important. Um, secondly, I don't think winning always has to be about being stronger or faster. You know, in our case, you know, we learned so much, Alex, that because we were the littlest guys in the race, our strategy was to be the best at correcting mistakes or actually be so good at correcting mistakes that we we're actually anticipating mistakes before they actually happened. 
So if you look at us paddle during the Olympics, like you can actually see five places where we were really good at correcting mistakes, but we weren't overpowering or overdoing anything that day. We were better at fixing mistakes. And you'll never hear me say that we were faster, stronger, better than the other guys. We just corrected mistakes a little bit better. And so I wouldn't underestimate that ability to, um, you know, to do just that. And third, um, you know, I call this uh, beware the rule of pinnacles. And so with this, pinnacles are not designed for long-term stays. You know, if you actually look at the way we achieve success at something, uh, we go up to a point and then we come back down. The reason we come back down is, you know, when you are up on a pinnacle, you run out of real estate and you run out of oxygen. When you come back down, you have more space, you reset, you get more oxygen. Everest, Mount Everest gets climbed a lot this time of year. No one climbs up Mount Everest straight. They go up, they come down. Base camp, base camp, base camp, base camp. The next time they go up a little bit higher, then they come down again. And this idea that we, our career tra trajectory is just up and to the right, we just keep going up. I, I just don't, I, I've never seen that to really be the case when you think about it. I don't think that's what we really want either is to just be living up there on pinnacles. So I think winning has, um, has really taught me a lot about how to even lose better and put losing into context. But I think there is a lot to learn from our wins. And I think the pursuit of winning is a wonderful thing. I would just say, don't just learn from your losses, learn from your wins as well. I love the best at correcting mistakes. That to yeah. me was like, a, that's a mic drop. 